Welcome back to you at home and the members of the class of 2020 from all corners of the Granite State joining us tonight via Zoom. All of us here at WMUR wish you the very best as you head off to your next adventure. And we're also sharing messages of congratulations for seniors across the state at the bottom of the screen. Our next student is described as a stellar role model who's headed off to the Air Force Academy very soon. With a resume of accomplishments too long to list, Here's our representative from the Merrimack Valley, Evan Haskins of Pelham High. The last 12 years have been a time where we've had fun, we've worked hard, and tried to figure out who we are as people. The end of senior year seemed like a time that would never actually come, but here it is. Despite the quarantine, the virtual graduation, and all the Zoom meetings we had to go through, we made it. So what do we do now? Well, isn't it obvious? Our parents, our teachers, even the movies we watch have all been saying the same thing this whole time. Just follow your passion. But what does that actually mean? We're 18 years old, and most of that time we spent on this earth has been spent having other people take care of us. Thank you to all the moms, dads, grandparents, aunts and uncles, teachers and coaches that have worked so hard to get us to this point. But we can't just stare in the mirror for an hour and decide what we want to do for the rest of our lives. So how do we take their advice, follow your passion, and use it in the long-term planning aspect of our lives? Well, passion starts with an interest. You have to find an interest that you have that's useful to others, because when it's useful to other people, you can turn it into a living. Whether it's taking apart engines, helping the environment, writing about sports, you can turn one of your interests into a job. Even if you don't think you have an interest right now, that's okay. This is the time where you explore all the new opportunities available to you. Whether you're going off to college or trade school or the workforce in the military, you explore what's available and you'll find an interest that you didn't even know you had. And once you have that locked down, you have to work as hard as possible to become the best. You have to want to be the best because when you're great at something, it's more enjoyable. And when you enjoy what you're doing, the odds of you becoming passionate about it go way up. And when you have passion in your job, you'll find fulfillment and success that everyone strives for. And you'll be able to tell the future generations the same exact thing you heard. Just follow your passion. So good luck to my fellow graduates and God bless. We wanted to give one senior athlete the chance to speak for all of his peers tonight. We chose a Portsmouth baseball player that has a scholarship to play for the defending national champions at Vanderbilt. Here's Portsmouth High School's Calvin Hewitt. Hello class of 2020, my name is Calvin Hewitt. I am a senior student athlete and a captain of the baseball and basketball team here at Portsmouth High School. With the cancellation of spring sports, it wasn't just the competition that we missed out on, but it was the teammates, the coaches, and the memories that would have lasted a lifetime. As the great Kobe Bryant once said, everything negative, the pressure, the challenges, are all an opportunity for me to rise. So despite all the disappointments that this virus has brought us, it will never diminish our spirit and our special accomplishments. Here are some of the great moments from our senior year in sports. We start on the football field. The Hollis Brookline Cavaliers won their first state championship in program history, while the Londonderry Lancers also won their first football title in 21 years. The Trinity Pioneers and the Winnesquam Bears also celebrating their state titles. The birds flew to championships in cross country. The Keen Blackbird for the boys and the BG Cardinal for the girls. Speaking of birds, the Dominic Guilford Golden Eagles won their 17th state title in girls volleyball. And nearly unbeatable birds, the Timberland Owls win the wrestling title for the 26th time in the last 28 seasons. Division I indoor track, the Pinkerton Astros flew to a state record on the 4x200 meters and they won a team title. Exeter Blue Hawks win for the girls. In the pool, three straight state titles for both the Exeter girls and the Bishop Girton boys. In a striking finals, two Goffstown Grizzlies squared off for the bowling championship. Soccer championships. The Hanover Marauders sweep girls and boys titles, with Latham Allison scoring the boys' game winner and penalty kicks. The Exeter Blue Hawk girls went undefeated all year, the Conval Cougars go back to back, and the Newmarket Mules won for the first time in 36 years. In field hockey, yet another fall championship for the Hanover Marauders. The Bishop Brady Giants take their first ever title, and the Windham Jaguars take their third title in four years. It's four straight crowns for the Pinkerton Astros in gymnastics. And after a great tournament leading up to championship games and with incredible fan support, eight champions were crowned on the ice, and 14 teams won state championships on the basketball courts, including my own Portsmouth Clippers. And it certainly would have been a spring season filled with all kinds of great moments. We can all be proud to have represented our families and our high schools. We can take great pride in being leaders in our community and in being role models for the next generation of athletes. I wish you all the best and the amazing things you will accomplish next in your lives. If we can all make it through this, then we certainly can make it through everything. Good luck to my fellow athletes in the class of 2020. 
And during these stressful and anxious times, our final student goes above and beyond to help those in need of support and strives to always find the good in humanity. Representing the Upper Valley, here's Kateri Kalpaja from Mount Royal Academy in Sunapee. For the past six years, I've gone to Mount Royal Academy in Sunapee, New Hampshire in the Upper Valley region. And like many of you, I've been working hard and preparing to walk with my fellow graduates in what would be the highlight of my high school career. In an unprecedented turn of events, all of the final moments and memories were taken away from the class of 2020. And while this whole experience has been truly heartbreaking, it has such valuable lessons to teach us. The first is gratitude. We're so focused on the future and the next big thing that we forget to live in the present and it slips away from us. We must learn to live in the moment and see every day as an opportunity to be great because tomorrow is never promised. Never save for tomorrow what you can do today. The second is perseverance. Every generation has been marked by some great event. And the heroes that we remember are the ones who, rather than despairing in the face of adversity, rose up and bettered the world and themselves because of it. It is trial and disappointment that shows us how truly strong we can be. And finally, these are unordinary times, but the world does not need ordinary men and women. It needs extraordinary ones. The class of 2020 has been blessed with a perspective that very few have. And I hope that we take this disappointment and turn it into an opportunity to better the world through our courage, perseverance, and renewed appreciation for tradition and humanity. The world has never been an easy place to live in. So who is going to say, I want that to change? I say it is the class of 2020. We know firsthand what it feels like to miss out on what life could be. So congratulations to the class of 2020. And may we be the generation of men, women, thinkers, dreamers, and believers that the world so desperately needs. Coming up, some final thoughts for the class of 2020 and an important request from our own Fritz Weatherby.